everyone. It's Olivia here. Welcome to our latest session of the Daily Music Roll News Podcast. So let's proceed with today's top news in the music industry. Britney Spears clarifies her brother was not invited to her wedding in her recent post. The drama over Britney's marriage just keeps getting messier. In her recent Instagram post, she called out another family member, her brother Brian Spears. Britney expressed her anger and frustration in her latest Instagram which featured a long text about her brother. She wrote that Brian never let her have a sip from his drinks when she was staying at her Las Vegas residency. She also talked about his interview on Crew Plotkin's podcast in 2020, where he talked about Britney's conservatorship. He called it a great thing that happened to the Spears family. Brian further added that it may seem like one person is doing everything by performing on the stage but everybody has sacrificed for it. Everybody was putting effort on some level or another into everything going. Brittany wrote in her post that neither Brian nor the other family members wanted her conservatorship to end. She asked him why he even responded when she did not even invite him to the wedding. She said even though he is related to her by blood, he was not welcome. j is the first BTS member to release his solo music says Hybe. BTS has recently announced that the band will be taking an indefinite break from music making to pursue their individual careers. And only a day after the big announcement it was disclosed by Big Hit Music. That team member J-Hope is the first member in the group who will be showcasing his solo performance in the upcoming release according to the reports from Billboard. He will be offering more details about the upcoming project in the coming weeks. The band's representative told various South Korean media that during the hiatus period each member will focus more on their individual activities and grow in terms of music making diversity. J-Hope had previously talked about this in his recent interview with Weber's magazine. He talked about the mental state of the band members when they were preparing for their performance at the 2022 Grammy Awards. He said that the members were on the brink of mental breakdown due to immense exhaustion. Nick Cave will be a part of the animated TV show Before They Were Gods as himself. The animated TV show will have Swedish director and writer Mons Marlind as its director. Nick Cave will be an animated version of himself on the show along with the Swedish artist Thastrum, developed by the Yellowbird Production Company. The TV show Before They Were Gods is about two musicians. The Hollywood Reporter says that the story takes place in an imaginary world where two 14 year old musicians are close friends. Both of them turn into rock gods eventually. In the show, the two characters go on an adventure to find the ultimate truth, immortal beauty, and cheap wine. Sometimes they are able to find it, sometimes not. What they always encounter is the promise of endless love in the form of the mysterious and beautiful Linnea, who they have both deeply fallen for. While Thastrum said he always wanted to be a cartoon character, Kate explained that he was excited to find out what Thastrum and he could have been done if he ever worked together through the show. As for director Marlene, it is his dream project. Saucy Santana says Bayhive is trying to destroy him over old Blue Ivy and Beyonce tweets. The rapper had already made it clear that he will not be apologizing to Beyonce's fan base. Better known as Bayhive for his old tweets about Queen Bee and her daughter. The rapper finds himself in a tirade on Twitter with Beyonce fans before her concert in Houston, Texas, the hometown of the pop diva. She expressed his anger because the singer's loyal fan base won't let him off. The hook for his controversial tweets about Blue Ivy in 2014. He tweeted that he was prettier than then two-year-old Blue Ivy's mom and called her nappy-headed. He has long deleted the tweets from his account but the Bay Ive members have already taken screenshots of the tweets and they are being circulated on social media. Santana fired at the haters saying that nobody cares about the old tweets. He said that in 2014 he was a lot younger and was broke and miserable in life, which made him write those mean tweets. Our today's session ends here. This is Olivia, signing off for now. See you in our next session. Till then, keep grooving with Daily Music Roll.